Hey, what's up, guys? It is I, DPX, here. Welcome back to another episode of the podcast, DPX Talks, for about an hour. Today, I have a very special guest on uh, the show, and it's... Wait. K Kermit the Frog? Oh. Hi, Kermit. Well, how you doing, Hello. Kermit? Hello! Yeah, this totally isn't Slash uh, pretending to be Kermit the Frog, all right? No. It's, it's Kermit the Frog, okay? You mean so rude to me, I'm gonna fire my agent. He's a bad agent. Okay, um, so we're just gonna get right into this. Uh, we'll start with the briefer. <laughs> he left. Uh, we're gonna get into some of the briefer topics, you know? Um, starting with, uh, what I'm interested to find out here. Uh, what games have you been playing, Kermit? Oh, uh,. I've been playing a lot of Crazy Frog Racer 2. It's a pretty solid game. Um, I've been also playing a lot of Frogger. I was waiting for um, that one. I was some Battle Toads as well. You know, I, I personally, I'm not a big fan of Toads. They're not as cool as Frogs. But Battle Toads is pretty cool. And I've also been playing Final Fantasy 13. Well, what? Wait. Really? That's like the worst yeah. one. Alright. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm playing it. Oh, okay. Anything you've been watching? Mostly just frogs talking. You what? <laughs> Nothing. All right, yeah. The, um, the Muppet Show. The the Muppet Show. Yeah, I heard like I heard uh, the Muppet Show is coming back or something. I don't know. We're back. Uh, Hello. Yo, uh, I don't know if Kermit would remember, but Slash probably would. Remember Sonic for Hire? Yeah, I've been watching Sonic for Hire. Or I rewatched it. It's, it's like, I watched it when I was younger. Uh, and, like, a lot of the jokes were funnier. Uh, it's like, ooh, masturbation, that's funny. Um, I watch it now, it and it's just like, eh. I mean, the, some of the randomness in the show is funny. But, like, you know, the, the edgy humor is a bit old for me now. But, uh. Edge. Yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. Um. Okay, um, moving on to the next topic. Uh, this is a brief one. I mean, these are the brief topics. Kermit the Frog. Did you know that Shrek turned, uh, 50? 50? What the fuck? Shrek is 50? What the fuck? Shrek turned 20 years old yesterday. The, the movie, not Shrek himself. I'm, I'm sure he's probably in his, like, 40s or 50s. But, uh... He looks good for someone in his 40s. Yeah, no, definitely. But, uh, no, nah, but Shrek... Turned 20 years old yesterday. Or I don't know about Damn. yesterday, but like around this time period, it turned 20. Damn. That's that's crazy. That's good. I, I think the first Shrek movie, <clears throat> it holds up very well today, I think. So, and, you know, and it's still a really good movie. Um, and it made a shit ton of money at the box office. So, Kermit, uh, what do you think about Shrek turning 20? I mean, I'm like 60, you know, but completely unrelated, but I'm, you know, I'm a big fan of Shrek. He's green. It's not easy being green. Uh, I feel for him. I feel for his struggles with his Fiona lady person, and I think it's cool that he's being 20 years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. Do you agree? Yeah, I do. Uh, moving on to the next topic. Um, uh, did you know that there a while ago there they announced a Batgirl movie? Yeah. No. Well, they did, and it was um definitely uh it was like it was at the, it was at the time when DC was struggling with the DC EU, and they were. They announced way more than they really should have, as they were not doing well. Um, and I think it was like Joss Whedon, I think, was oh, no. set to direct this movie, but that's not happening. Well, it's got some new directors. Uh, I forgot their names, but uh, not names I've heard of. But I, I, I'm, I know they're. I'm pretty sure they're good directors. Uh, they had like some strange names, but. Uh, but it's what I think the more interesting thing is that it's gonna be on HBO Max, like 
an HBO Max movie. Uh, now we've seen, you know, a bunch of like you know DC movies on HBO Max, but it's not like there's been a DC HBO Max movie, you know. Like Facts. we have, like even Marvel on Disney Plus, we don't have like a Marvel movie that's made to be a Disney Plus original. There's like they're like the Marvel shows. But there's not uh, any of the movies. So we have, like, a full-on, like, superhero movie that's, like, for HBO Max here. And I think that's cool. Uh, Kermit the Frog, what do you think here? That's my name. Don't wear it out. Um, you know, I was always a big fan of Batgirl. She's pretty cool. Um, I love Batgirl. Um, you know, I'm excited to see some some more DC movies. I'm a big fan of DC. Uh, hopefully it turns out okay. I'm happy just just Sweden isn't doing it. You know, no offense to him. Actually, you know, very much offense. I wouldn't have him direct a Muppets movie if uh, if I was paid to. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for the Batgirl movie and hopefully it's good. Um... Yeah, uh, I'm Kermit the Frog, by the way, guys. Yeah, we know you're Kermit the Frog. Okay, uh, just we're just ready. moving along here. Uh, and the next up is uh, Sonic 2. Sonic, the uh, a sequel to the Sonic movie, uh, has been in production, and it wraps. Production on that movie has wrapped. Um, and there's not a whole lot to say here, really, but. Uh, it, you know, I, I just find it interesting how this movie, like, during the pandemic, during all these cancellations and delays and all, like, a bunch of, you know, behind-the-scenes drama when it comes to, like, the pandemic and stuff, the Sonic movie managed to get made <laughs> throughout this whole pandemic. Obviously, there have been many, many rumors uh, it was I. It was honestly so crazy I couldn't even keep up with it. But there were many rumors of, you know, people, like stepping down from the roles. But I don't know if those were true. I think, like, I think we're good. Uh, cause especially since the roles that people took, you know, the actors and the characters they were playing were were good. Uh, but I, I just find it like, wow, they managed to get this entire movie done. They managed to shoot this whole movie throughout the pandemic. They, the, a movie was made here during the pandemic. There was no, like, delays or anything. They announced that it was going to come out in April of next year. And it seems like that's going to happen. So, uh, Kermit the Frog, uh, yes, what, do you think, what do you think about uh, the Sonic Movie 2 wrapping production? You know, it's a, it's pretty cool. I, I like the first Sonic movie. I like the scene where he says I'm a, he's a cat. Spoke to me, and now I'm excited to see if Tails will follow in Sonic's footsteps and also say that he's a cat. But more importantly, I, I'm ready for, I'm ready for another Sonic movie. Mm -hmm. You I know, think Tails and Knuckles are supposed to be in this, so I'll be cool. Your boy. My boy Knuckles. Yeah. Your boy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hopefully they put me in one, you know? Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, moving on to another topic. Uh, this was something that, I don't know, like, it got a lot of controversy, and uh, it's, like, it's not, I didn't quite see the controversy at first, but as I had it explained it, as I had it explained to me, I understand now. Um... But, uh, the, the Skyward Sword HD is coming out, and that's already kind of a controversial game, not because it exists, because Skyward Sword is a game that needed a, like, a remake, or even just a port, fixing the motion controls, or making it so you don't need to use the, ma the motion controls. And it's coming to, uh, the Switch, uh, but it's got an amiibo that was announced, and this amiibo looks cool, it's like Zelda with the, uh, like, I don't remember the creature's name, but the Zelda with that one, like, giant bird on an amiibo stand. And it looks really cool. It looks super nice. But there's a problem. Uh, there are multiple problems. One, this is, I believe this is the only amiibo that is compatible with 
this Skyward Sword game, despite there being a bajillion fucking Zelda amiibos. Like, you know how many, like, amiibos there are of Link alone? I'll say more than Mario. There are more Link amiibos than there are of Mario. And that is counting, like... That is if you count, like, Dr. Mario for Mario, but you don't count Toon Link or Young Link. There's more of Link than there are Mario. So, like... And none of them are, are apparently going to be compatible with Skyward Sword HD. And not only that, this, uh, this version of, uh, of this amiibo, uh, it brings a feature that is not, that is already in, that you didn't need to buy an amiibo for, for, like, any, every other Zelda game. Like, it, so it, it sort of... And the other thing is that this is $25, which shouldn't be bad, you know. It's like, you know, it's, you know, Amiibos are fine. They cost uh, $25, except they don't. They cost 15 I don't know why they jacked up the price for this by $10. Is it supposed to be big? Is this Amiibo supposed to be big? Because if it's like a big Amiibo, that makes sense. But, like, it looks like... Just a normal sized amiibo. Why is this twenty five dollars? Like I'm not even I'm not I'm not even mad that it's like I can't afford that. I probably could if I really wanted to get it, but like why is it twenty five dollars? What? So uh Kermit, um you hear all yes. this about this uh Skyward Sword amiibo. Uh what do you think? I do. I think it's Disgusting, honestly. You know, I mean, they're trying to make money, and it's not cool. I don't support people making money off of like jacking up prices or doing stupid stuff. You know, like this. Oh, you no, know, I'm just not a big fan of this entire arrangement. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna no, be honest. No one is. No one's a big fan of this. Nintendo, like, Nintendo, they're like, yeah, give us the money. That's Nintendo. Like, I saw this Amiibo announced, like, seconds after it was announced. And then it was like, and I'm like, yo, I don't usually buy uh, Amiibos that aren't Smash nowadays. But I might cop this one. You see, the thing is, I it, it's not really a, a cop if it's like $25. If it's more than it should be. So, so like, Back. if anything, it's you cop something when it's less than it should be, but um, Back. yeah. So I don't quite get what the fuck is up with. Like, I don't know why this. It's not the end of the world. People are like outraging over this. I don't think it's like that bad. Like, it's an extra ten dollars, and I mean the functionality and shit with this game and with this amiibo are stupid, but it's not the end of the world. For amiibo collectors, I'm sure it's, like, a, a cool thing to have. I'm sure it's kind of annoying that it's $25 for whatever fucking reason. But, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, any final thoughts, Kermit? It sucks. I fuck, I hate it. Alright. So that was all the brief topics. Uh, there might have been another brief topic, but I think, uh, I think that's actually big enough to be a uh, a main topic, but we'll get to that one. Um, anyways, uh, we're getting going on to our main topics now. Uh, this is big, something really big that I don't think I haven't heard too many people talking about it at all, and I'm kind of surprised that like not so many people are talking about it. What is it, EBX? Because it's big. It's what big. is it? All right, yeah, I'm gonna stop delaying it. Uh, Discovery. Discovery. Guys. Warner Media from AT&T. So basically yeah. what happened here was AT&T was looking to uh, sell off. Like I remember there were like there were cracks of this happening, maybe not specifically discovery. But there were like sort of cracks and little leaks of this happening just cuz uh, AT&T wanted to sell um WB like the the game division to like I don't know, someone, uh, and Microsoft, uh, showed interest, and that was 
that would have been a big acquisition. That would have been big if that happened. But AT&T was like, yeah, we'll just keep them for now. But AT&T sold off not just Warner Bros. like games, but like just Warner Bros. and Warner Media, who owns Warner Bros. and HBO Max and all that type of stuff. Um, yeah. AT&T yeah. sold off uh, Warner Media to Discovery. So, uh, like, this isn't, like, th this is big, but it's not as, like, I don't know, what's the word? It's not as, like, ex I wouldn't say it's as exciting, that's the word I was looking for. It's not as exciting as, say, like, Disney buying Fox, or it's, it's not as, as exciting as even, like, Microsoft buying Bethesda, you know? This, but this is still a big acquisition, um... You have, uh, you know, Discovery, like, they have a streaming service. A streaming service I forgot exists, <laughs> but, um, they have a streaming service. But they have a lot of subscribers. I forgot the number. There's a big number. Um, also, a little side note, uh, for the thumbnail, I searched up a picture of Discovery, uh, just to have in the thumbnail, and, uh, because of that, uh, Google picked up that I searched up Discovery, and every time I watch, this has been nonstop. Like when I watch a YouTube video, obviously they give you ads. They've given me so many ads for Discovery Plus. It's like I searched up Discovery once, dude. F fuck off! I'm not buying this streaming service. Like no offense. You know you want to. <laughs> like dude, I don't. What is uh, what is there on? What what do you, what's even on there? So like. I'm sure there's stuff on there, but it's all, like, a bunch of reality TV and stuff. But, anyways, I'm getting, uh, off topic. Warner Media is now owned by Discovery. So, like, HBO Max was owned by, uh, Warner Media, which was owned by AT&T. But now, it's not owned by AT&T, it's owned by, um, Discovery. Discovery, they have their own streaming service, so it's interesting to see how they can balance this. Like, obviously, they, they shouldn't merge them together, because Discovery Plus has a good number of subscribers. HBO Max has a an alright number of subscribers, but I feel like you shouldn't mix the two together, you know? Like, yeah, HBO yeah, Max yeah. Is, hasn't been doing as well as probably Warner Bros. or anyone th wanted it to, but... Um, it's still doing good. I, and I also don't think it's a good idea to mix them together, to merge them. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of just crazy. Discovery now owns, like, you know, DC and the Lord of the Rings and, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, uh um, uh, Kermit, want to hear your thoughts yeah. on, uh, Discovery now owning... Warner Media. I think it's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Um, I'm excited to see what they do. You know, maybe, maybe they'll do something cool, like uh, you know, more Warner Media stuff. But um, yeah, I'm very interested. I agree with you. I don't think that they should uh, merge the streaming services. But uh, I I do think that. I'm excited to see what happens next, you know? And this is, yeah, this is a very big deal. I agree with you there, DPX, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm um, Kermit. Yeah. Um, so, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'll ask you, Kermit, uh, is there hey. any, like, what do you, what pros or what cons do you think come from, uh, this type of purchase? This is a tricky question, you know. Um, I I think that obviously you have the pros of like um, having like for, for like the consumer or for like the making like the company making a purchase like this. Either or. Uh, just just pick one, please. CPX. Uh, fine, the consumer. Okay, so you know, um, if you. Hmm, that's a tricky question. Well, you... If it's easier to come you, up with the... Uh, no, 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 I got this, I got this. Okay. I got this. 
Well, you see, you know, there's less logos to watch. You know, that's pretty awesome. Um, what else? What else is going on here? There's, um, when you're, like, obviously, um, if the streaming services do merge, um, it'd probably be more expensive, but it'd probably be also a lot more media for consumption for the consumer, you know? Mm-hmm. Not saying that they should or shouldn't merge. Um... I mean, yeah, like, maybe. What, I, know, I mean, like, what's the pros and cons maybe to they'll... just uh, Discovery buying Water Media, not like merging the streaming services? Oh wow, well that was that was just a side effect. Um, I, maybe maybe they'll fix the DCEU, you know, because that's definitely more. <laughs> maybe they'll restore the Snyderverse, you know. Yeah. All right. Um, any awesome. final thoughts? It's very interesting. All right. And I'm going to have to look more into it. Mm -hmm. All right, so moving on uh, to another topic. Um, Sega, a lot of Sega games. I'll just say, we'll just cut right to the chase. A lot of Sega games have been leaked. They're they're, they're just, well, I mean, kind of. I wasn't, it was hard to really follow this. But um, I guess I kind of... uh, just wanted a little bit of a rant, um, but basically a bunch of Sega games were leaked. You know, the, the, like they have like some sort of upcoming, you know, list of stuff they're considering or whatever. There's uh, obviously new Sonic. Uh, there's the Sonic Colors remastered, which was which has been leaked and rumored for quite a bit now. Um, I feel like that's all but confirmed, um, and also. New Sonic, I believe, and uh, some other stuff like you know, there's some there's there was Judgment, uh, Lost Judgment, which was a sequel to Judgment, uh, which if you don't know is like a, I believe a spinoff of the Yakuza games. That was leaked um, before it ended up getting announced, and it was announced. So yeah, uh, and one thing that was on there was a uh, Knights game. Like a triple A Knights game, and that that would be crazy if that happened. But uh, I just want to rant because like Sega, they have so much, they have so many fantastic IPs that they do nothing with. They just bank on Sonic. They bank on. Uh, I mean, honestly, they don't even do much with Sonic now. They bank on Yakuza. All right, they do a lot with Yakuza, and. If you're not Yakuza, and if you're not anything from Atlas, so like Persona or Shin Megami Tensei or Catherine or whatever, Sega ain't doing shit with you. Maybe Sonic, like Sonic's their poster boy. They do stuff with Sonic, but not not much lately. So it's sort of just like, what are you doing? You have so much. Like you have. And recently, like I, I noticed that they're letting people bring back some of their older games, like, you know, like, uh, Streets of Rage 4, I, I hope you know, I don't know if you know this, but, like, Sega was barely a part of that, like, they just endorsed it, I think, they didn't develop or publish it, I don't think, like, Shenmue 3, Sega wasn't a part of that game, they didn't publish that, they didn't develop that, they endorsed it, you know, uh, the upcoming, uh, Alex Kidd and Miracle World, uh, remake, they ain't Sega. So, like... Um... Like... I just got some text. Facts. <clears throat> uh, no, sorry. Uh, I kind of lost my train of thought, but, um... Uh, no, 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 no. Not Sega, but Sega. Sega, you know? like, they have... They have so much they can do. There's... They got... They can make, like, why don't you make a fucking crazy taxi game? Like, like you can make it sort of like GTA, but except you don't go around shooting people and shit. But, like, you can go, like, make a game where you have to drive, uh, where you're a taxi driver and you have to give people rides. Like, that that's so simple. Why don't you fucking, like, what? Why can't you make more of those? Jet Set Radio, that's, like... The, 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 that's like a fucking that's a game where you just go around basically vandalizing shit like what's like 
I don't know. Like, uh, Shinobi? That's a ninja game. That's a ninja game. Yes. Like, you could... Like, that's simple. You can do so much with a ninja game. You know... Uh, they tried doing it in 3D before. It wasn't that good. Alright, fine. Um, but, like, go and stick with 2D. The 2D Ninja... Uh, 2D uh, Shinobi games were really good. And you can do more, you know. Obviously, they... Uh, it makes sense for some other franchises to not come back. Like, they they tried bringing back Beast Rider once. And, uh... No, no, no. Beast Rider. No, Golden Axe. Beast Rider. It's called Golden Axe Beast Rider. That game sucks ass. They tried remaking Altered Beast once. That game sucked. Um, so, obviously, there's, like, there are issues, you know, some franchises they can't, but, like, a game like Crazy Taxi, a game like Shinobi, a game like Jet Set Radio, it's like, why aren't you making more of these games? You know, even, exactly. like, even a game like House of the Dead, like, they've done nothing with House of the Dead. House of the Dead, I feel like, is a series, it's a game I feel like even if you don't know anything about it like I barely know anything about House of the Dead like I feel like everyone's at least heard of that or at least something like that you know so like uh, Kermit you hear my little rant about uh, Sega and you hear that you know it's rumored that they'll have some more games coming out soon and also I didn't even mention this but they're, they're supposed to have a presence at E3 Maybe even like a press conference. That should be interesting. So, all this about Sega, uh, Kermit, what do you think? You know, I want them to do more with their games. Because I'm a big fan of, you know, the Sega franchise as a whole. And hope I, I like a lot of their games. You know, like you said, there's there's so, they have so many IPs that they could be like making games for. But they're just not, for whatever reason. So, you know, hopefully, you know, something happens and they decide to turn it around and you know, start making more um, sequels and IPs and maybe even making some new IPs but you know it's just a little bit upsetting you know because when a game is good you want to be able to play a sequel mm -hmm. and have to replay the game you know so yeah hopefully hopefully they um, decide to do more of in the way of sequels for their IPs that haven't gotten as much representation, you know? Yeah, that's that's it, I think. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, like... Also, like I said, there's some franchises... I, I mentioned Beast Rider. Why do I keep saying Beast Rider? That game's not good. The three Golden Axe games are so good. Why do I think of the name Beast Rider first? No, because I'm thinking Altered Beast as well. That's why. No, Golden Axe and Altered Beast. Uh, there's also Skies of Arcadia, which got a game on the Dreamcast. That, you know, the Dreamcast got, like, you know, a bit fucked. So, like, uh, it got ported to the GameCube and PS2, and it, the game still got fucked. So, like, you know, I, it's understandable why they wouldn't bring back Skies of Arcadia, be, just because, like, you know... The, the, that game doesn't have too much name value when it comes to, like, popularity or sales or whatever. Um, but, you know, like I said, a game like Crazy... I feel like Crazy Taxi, of all the games I mentioned, Crazy Taxi would be the easiest to do. Or Space Channel 5. It's a fucking, like, singing game. Sega. If you're watching this, which I doubt you are, uh, but if you are, wow, Sega, shit, you better thanks. fucking listen uh, up. Bring back your franchises. All right, that's it. Um, any final thoughts, Kermit? Yeah, I agree. They need to bring back the franchises. Yeah. Okay. Um. Anyways, uh, next topic. This was announced like just before we started, and we were gonna have this as a brief topic, but uh, you know what? I think it's big enough. Injustice. Uh, we are the, not in Justice 3, that was not announced, but an Injustice animated movie is coming. It was announced, and I, I love Injustice. The first two Injustice games might be two of my favorite games of all time. Uh, definitely, uh, okay. 
my two favorite DC games. Um, two of my favorite fighting games. I love them. I love them both to death. Um, I haven't played them in a while. Because I, I guess I got addicted to them at one point. I guess the, the addiction kind of just stopped. But I, I got to replay them. They, they were both really good. And the story is really enticing and really uh, interesting. Uh, like, basically, Superman gets, like... I don't, I don't remember. Was it, like, drugged or whatever? Like, he gets... F fear toxin, baby. Kirk yeah, yeah. Late. Fear toxin. Into... And he thinks he kills the Joker, but he kills Lois Lane and her... No, Doomsday. Um, it's Doomsday. Right. He thinks Doomsday. he killed no, 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 Doomsday. No, 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 no. No, it was Joker who did the thing. Yeah. But, he, yeah. No, he thinks he's killing Doomsday, but he kills Lois Lane and her unborn son. So... Superman turns bad, and now it's like, well, shit, we have to stop fucking Superman. Um, so, like, and I don't know, that's just a good, like, idea, and, um, like, the games, the stories are really good, the comics are good, the comics are, like, linked to the games, and I don't know what this, uh, yeah, sorry. There was like an, a big ass fucking ant crawling around. I just killed it. Uh, Good sorry, job. Sorry, Peta, but uh, um, well, do, they, do they care about ants? Uh, whatever. Um, don't answer that. Um, hey, you're a frog, so whatever. Uh, anyways, uh, I don't know if this is gonna be like an adaptation. If this is like a new, a brand new, like, I don't know if this is gonna be just. The first Injustice game, as a as an animated movie, or if this is basically like, say, a different comic or a different like, basically a new installment in this Injustice universe, that's now a movie. If so, I, I'm 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 good with that. I'm good with the other one too. Like, I just like this idea of a an animated Injustice movie. Uh, I will be quite honest. I barely give two shits about any of the animated Marvel or DC movies, um, but, like, I feel like this should be different. I feel like this is, like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Maybe it's just bias. Maybe it's just I like Injustice, and I'm, like, but, like, it, if this is, like, linked, like, the, the, the animated Marvel and DC movies have, like, their own universe. If this is linked to the Injustice games in the comics, then it's not linked to that cinematic or animated universe. That being said, this would be its own thing, and I like that a lot more. I'm just saying. I don't really want to get into one of those animated movies if I have an entire universe to catch up on. So, anyways, Kermit the Frog, uh, what do you uh, think about this... Uh, animated injustice movie you know i'm looking forward to it i like i um have probably read a lot more of the injustice comics than you no offense no, you know you probably have um and i'm a big fan and there's there's a lot of stuff that they can explore or uh, i don't know they might have to make multiple or because there's a lot of content in the injustice like universe if you get me yeah well if this is like well, if they're just adapting, if they're just basically, I'll use the word port. If they're just porting, uh, like the Injustice comics or whatever into film, then yeah, they'd have to do a lot more. They'd have to do more than one film. But if it's like a new installment, you know, like wherever it left off last, if it picks up there, you know, then yeah, I I get what you mean. Sorry, I kind of cut you off there. Uh. You going? Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Injustice universe, and it would be awesome to see a video, I mean, a video game, <laughs> a movie, I mean, that would be awesome. a animated movie based off of the um, Injustice universe, because, you know, it's pretty cool, overall. Yeah. Um, hopefully, hopefully this means Injustice 3 sometime soon? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, mm -hmm. hopefully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, I don't know what the fuck that was. And those uh, listening to this on SoundCloud are probably hella confused because you didn't see that at all. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I'm excited for this. The first animated DC movie in a while. I'm I can't from the from my memory that I've been excited for. <laughs> so, uh, Kermit the Frog, any final thoughts? I'm a big fan of Injustice. I'm looking forward to this release. You could say. Alright. Uh, moving on. Um, there is uh, another thing. Uh, now, th- this is sort of like... We're covering both news and rumors about uh, a certain show that uh, me... Uh, that like I don't know, you see I was planning on watching this show for a good while um I kept putting it off for some reason I don't know why that's kind of what I do when it comes to like getting into new shows I just put them off until it's like at some point I get I'm already thinking of it and some sorry about that someone already happens to uh recommend it and I go okay I'll watch it then fucking stop holding it stop putting it off so one day it was both squid wario and pat luigi that recommended to me after months of just putting it off for some fucking reason cobra kai so i watched cobra kai and i thought it was amazing and then you watched cobra kai and then gus watched cobra kai so we did a little you know little uh trend setting i guess you want to call it um yes uh but um, so, basically, Cobra Kai Season 4 is the next season coming up, uh, and, uh, wait, no, I said you slash watched it, but I'm sure you watched, watched it too, Kurt, it. right? I did watch it. Yeah, it's not like you are slash or anything, but, uh... I'm not. Yeah, you're Kermit. Uh, no, so, uh... Exactly. No, 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 so, Season 4 is coming up soon, uh, we know that, uh... And there were, like, a bit, like, a little, like, is it going to come out this year or is it not? Like, you know, season three came out this year. You know, most shows don't release two seasons in one year, although they skipped an entire year last year. So it would make sense to catch up, you know, with two seasons in one year. And then uh, Netflix announced, you know, that they're working on some new shows, seasons of their shows, season two of uh, The Witcher, uh, the, they announced... I think season three or whatever of you. I don't know what you is, by the way. Uh, but then they said uh, season four of Cobra Kai will be coming at the end of the year. All three of those seasons of those shows will be coming at the end of the year. So that confirms that we'll be seeing that it won't be 2022 uh, before Co- we see Cobra Kai season four. All right. Um, and so that being said, it's coming out this year. And there's a. Uh, Apparently the shooting is wrapped. Uh, they just gotta do post production, so that means they, like, that's kind of like. Let's see. I remember, like, I was on a huge Cobra Kai fix, at the be uh, fix no kick. That's the word I'm looking for at the beginning of the year when I got uh, into the series. Um, so I was just basically like I. I was like, dude, I am ready for season four. I'm gonna keep up with the news. Unfortunately, I uh, that also meant keep up with some leaked uh, screenshots. So yippee for me. Uh, but no, I kept up with some of the news, and I remember when they started shooting. I don't remember the date, but it was sometime in like January or February. It, it was like probably late January, early February. All right, I'll say it. It was around then, and they're done now. Like obviously. Obviously, it shooting does shouldn't always take like super long, Probably longer than this. But we're in a pandemic. Like, there weren't that many like woes. You know that there weren't that many hurdles that got in the way within this five month period, maybe four month period. Um. Okay. Actually, after saying that out loud, it's sort of like. Yeah, it was that long, DPX. Relax. Now, yeah, I get it, but I don't know. It just sort of feels like something should have gotten in the way and nothing did. So that's impressive. 
You love to hear it. Um, and then the, these other two things were rumors. Um, uh, apparently, the first trailer is going to be in September. That's what it's. That that's the leak. You know, it's a leak that's the first trailer is going to be in September. So we have September, um, where we're looking at for a new trailer, and then it says that a, the season will drop in fall. So that, that could be in September for all we know. They, they can drop the trailer and then drop the season for all we know. But I'm going to say, I'm going to assume it's going to be October or November for season four to drop. So we have all this news about Cobra Kai season four, Kermit the Frog. Um, uh, what do you think about all this? What do you think about, A, uh, the fact that it's supposed to come out this year? And the, uh, the whole timeline, all right? A, the fact that it's supposed to come out this year. B, um, it's, uh, it wrapped shooting. C, it... Uh, uh, what was it? Right. Uh, first trailer in September. And D, it's supposed to come out in fall. And, like, I guess E, or oh, this could go with D. Sorry, I'm giving you a lot, Kermit. Uh, but... Uh, what month would you say you think is it's going to come out? All right? So uh, let me hear it, Kermit. I'm a November kind of guy. No? No, no, no. Huh? You can just talk. Come on. I know you're a uh, November I... kind of guy. All right, that's cool. But come on. Yeah, you know... Uh, I think it's gonna come out in November because I think it's a little too soon to like release. Uh, you know, I don't know though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna come out in September. I I, I understand a trailer in September, but um, yeah, October. I, like I, I can see it coming out in October. Yeah, same. I feel like it's a little too early September. I feel like it's going to come out in November. Maybe a trailer in August, like a teaser, and then a full-on kind of trailer in September or October. You know? Mm -hmm. mm. What are your thoughts on it uh, being done shooting? I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Um, That means that they like knew what they wanted to get, you know? Hopefully they didn't like rush it or try to get it out like super quickly yeah. hopefully they still like took their time and made it like good like the Muppet show you know that was good yeah no it looked like it, it from what it sounded like it, it seemed like things were going along well you know and there are some leaked screenshots that I saw unfortunately might have uh, spoiled a few things for me that's what happened when I was uh, very much into this but uh no like there were it, it. It seemed to go along very nicely. Like there were, from what I remember, there wasn't any like behind the scenes drama or hurdles that got in the way because of a pandemic. You know, they they did this during a pandemic. This is this this is the second time we're talking about production of something rapping during a pandemic. So, yeah, like I'm excited for season four. I'm excited. I obviously I I don't know. I'm not as like, I, I'm i not on my Cobra Kai kick anymore. <laughs> I just realized that's a good little Cobra Kai kick, and they do kicks in that show. Whatever. Um, uh, no, I'm not really on my Cobra Kai kick anymore. Uh, but, like, I'm the, that show is fucking good. You know, really good, I think. Um, and I also heard rumors that this show uh, is going to be, like, Apparently, like, unlike any other season. I, I mean, the season's gonna be, like, apparently, like, like any, any unlike any other season. So, I'm like, what the fuck happens? Does someone fucking die? Like, do they go to space? Do, do they fight zombies? Like, what the fuck happens in this season? <laughs> to, it just... The headline I read was, Cobra Kai Season 4 is apparently a completely different show. Like, obviously, not literally, but... I, you get what they mean. This is supposed to be, like, completely, like, just crazy and just... 
what the fuck? Like, what the fuck could happen? Give me... You know what, Kermit? Give me your wildest prediction of what this could mean about season four and it being like compl- a completely different show. Maybe, maybe it will be a spy movie. Maybe the <laughs> maybe the government will come for Crease. You know, I don't know. Yeah, that, that's the wildest. Okay, thing that, I can that's think your of. pitch. My pitch is uh, that uh, they're. You know, I'll combine the two things I said. Uh, they're fighting zombies in space. Bada boom. Uh, and hey, and they all they also might. The uh, October seems like a good time. Why not? If they're fighting zombies, why not put this in October? Okay, it's confirmed. Not only is it coming in October, but they're fighting zombies as well. Anyways, uh, any final thoughts on this Kermit on Cobra Kai season four? Well, I'm excited. You know. Yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, we have a Discord topic. This is usually one of the last topics we do, but uh, no, we'll, we'll do it right now. No real reason. No real reason. It's usually one of the last ones. But uh, uh, if you guys don't know, in the Discord server, in the MeCast Discord server down below, go or join so you can participate in stuff like this. Um, there. I post a question in a channel for podcast topics, and basically it's like if you, uh, I I list three topics, and you select a reaction that goes with a topic, and whichever one gets the most votes is the topic we talk about. So the first topic is, the issue with games as a service, that that one topic is just never going to go away. That's just never going to... Kermit, I've had that topic forever on here. What topic? The issue with games of, as a service. I've had that topic here forever, and it's just like no one's ever going to pick it. Uh, the second topic is unpopular gaming opinions. And the third topic, that wins by quite a bit. Um... What kind of game needs a remake and what kind don't? So as you see, uh, once again, the issue with games as a service loses. I, I think that's going to be a running uh, joke on this podcast now. J- guys, just never pick that, all right? Um, anyways, uh, so uh, what video games deserve remakes and what video games don't? Now, what I mean here is like, I, I, I thought of this because of... The rumors and leaks, and basically being all but confirmed that they're doing a complete remake of The Last of Us, and I'm like, why? Like The Last of Us is a fantastic game, don't get me wrong, but that's the that's the point here. Why would you remake it? And it's not even that old either. The game hasn't. I can't say the game has aged badly or aged uh, very well. It hasn't had much time to age. Like, they've already remastered it. So that's one thing. It's like, why do you need to remake this? So that's an example of a game that does not need a remake. But a game that does need a remake, or I I guess did, was Resident Evil 2. You know, just... Excuse me. Just the... I don't know, the gameplay, like, was it was good for the time. I think it might have been... Or this was really the first Resident Evil, but still... It was revolutionary for the time, how it was sort of just in that fixed position. I mean, Alone in the Dark did it first. That was the one that revolutionized it, but Resident Evil was the more popular game anyways. So, um, and then Resident Evil 2 came out and was a lot better. Um, but like the, the fixed camera angles and everything, the weird controls that have not aged well. So a third, a, a remake... Uh, making uh, Resident Evil 2 in third person. Oh, the first the first one got remade as well, so I should throw that one in there too. Uh, making these games in third person and making them like Resident Evil uh, 4, 4, 5, and 6. Bada boom. Uh, is, uh, th- those are three, those are two great games to remake. Um, Final Fantasy 7 remake. I, I know you saw that one coming if I brought up Resident Evil 2. Uh, that's a that's an example of a game you should remake. Um, a game you shouldn't remake is The Last of Us, like I said. But also, while we were on the subject of Resident Evil, there last year there were rumors 
and basically leaks. It was basically confirmed that they were going to remake Resident Evil 4, and it was going to come out next year. Um, and uh, that game, I don't think, needs a remake. Like, because the f first three Resident Evil games were remade to be more like Resident Evil 4. What the fuck are you going to remake Resident Evil 4 to be more like? The, the first person ones... The whole two of them that have sort of mixed opinions. I, I like the first person perspective of the Resident Evil games. Uh, Resident Evil 7, the first person perspective was scary. Uh, Resident Evil 8, it was made less scary, but like the first person perspective I, did add a f sense of fear that was otherwise absent just because. Uh, I kid you not, I, Kermit, I don't know if you heard about this, but there are a lot of. There are complaints about the. Resident Evil 7 being too scary, so Capcom toned down the scariness of uh, 8. But still, no. Are they going to remake Resident Evil 4 into first person? That would be interesting. I'll say that would be interesting, but, like, that's a bit of a stretch, I feel. So, like... Like... We're, like, what are they going to do with Resident Evil 4? How, like, how are they, how are they going to remake that? Let's see, what game deserves a remake? Uh, honestly, we kind of t touched on it briefly earlier. Uh, Skyward Sword HD. Um, it's more like a port, but it, the fact that they're making it so that you don't need to use motion controls, that's a bit of a remake right there. They fix it, Fixing up the controls, that's kind of remaking a game, I feel. And it needed that. It like A lot of people hate... A lot of people love... Skyward Sword, but a lot of people, like, say it's the worst Zelda game because of the motion controls, and I get it, it's like, you just gotta, like, obviously flailing your sword around is cool, but, like, not when you have to do it in real life, I guess. Um, so, you know, you have the option to play it with just button controls, and people prefer that a lot better. That's a game that deserved, that needed, like, you know, an enhancement, like, a remake, you know? Kermit the Frog. Uh, That's me. Can you think of like I don't know, what do you? I guess what are your thoughts on like remakes that of games that deserve remakes? You know, like a remake of like Resident Evil or Final Fantasy Seven. And you now, what are your thoughts on remakes of uh, like I don't know, the thought of a Last of Us remake, or the thought of a Resident Evil 4 remake. I mean, I'll, I'll still, like, Resident Evil 4, I guess, it's aged very well, but I guess, like, an HD version or whatever, or, I, I like, making it for, like, modern consoles, making it look next-gen and everything, that would be pretty cool. But like, I don't think it needs, like, an, an overhaul, you know. And Last of Us definitely doesn't need an overhaul. You can just play that on the PS4, uh, the, the, the remastered version, and play that on the PS5 because it's backwards compatible. But anyway, sorry. Uh, w w what do you think about games that deserve remakes and games that don't? And while you're at it, maybe list an example of a game that you think deserves a remake um, and a game that doesn't. So yeah, go. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Wait, what? Um, yeah, games that deserve remakes should definitely get remakes, you know, like... Obviously, if a game is old or if it's, like, not the best for whatever reason or it hasn't aged quite as well, then, you know, a remake is kind of in order, you know? But if it's, like, if the game is fine and it's it hasn't been, like, that long, like The Last of Us, then there's no real reason to remake it, you know? Yeah. And I feel like that game in particular, I think Slash said something, like, it's probably because The Last of Us 2 did so well that they just want, you know, more money. Yeah, I don't mean to cut you off, but you know what year The Last of Us came out in? Can I guess? Go. 2011. Yeah, you're actually pretty close. 2008, right? No, ha higher. Just, just tell me. 2013. Eight they, years. They remastered it already and they're gonna remake it like come on you don't you don't need to do that really just remaster it you know and they already did that so it's like what 
and uh, just so just port the remaster over to the PS5. Oh wait, no, you can just play the PS4 game on the PS5. How about you just don't do anything? Hmm. I don't know why I'm acting. I'm 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 acting so toxic. Mm. But like you, um, you're very toxic. What do you like? What's an example of a game? I'll I'll list one of each as well. What's an example of a game do you that you think deserves a remake, and one that you don't think does? Hmm. Um, you know, let's go, let's say, Super Mario Bros., the original, you know, because, like, that game has been expanded upon in the sequels and stuff, and it's not really so much a need of a sequel, because, I mean, of a remake, because, you know, the formula has been repeated and stuff, you know? Yeah. And meanwhile, hmm... What's a game that doesn't deserve... I mean, that deserves a sequel. You mean a remake? Maybe, um... Yeah, that's what I said. Um, maybe... Well, n not, like, right now, but in a couple years, a game that's, like, glitchy or something. Maybe, like, a game like Cyberpunk. Obviously not Cyberpunk, because, you know, it literally just came out this year. But, like, a game like Cyberpunk that is, like, kind of glitchy... And is kind of old, maybe like ten years old. Maybe then you can remake it, but that's even that's even stretching it, you know. Yeah. Um, the um, Polar Express game, maybe <laughs> games like that, you know. All right. Uh, a game that I think needs a remake. Um, Crazy Taxi. <laughs> no, no, Crazy Taxi has aged well. Uh, I, I actually thought of a few. Um, oh. I, I I wanted to just think of one, but I thought of a few. I'll, I'll, I'll list them. Uh, I thought of uh, a link to the past. A link. I, I I'm actually kind of surprised that game hasn't gotten a remake yet. A link to the past would do. Not that it's, it actually aged very well, but if it gets a remake like uh, Link's Awakening did, that would be good. That would be a really good remake. Um, there's a link to the past. Then there's also. Um, you see, they're remaking Resident Evil 4, but that's not the game they should do next. If they're going to do it, they shouldn't do that one next. They should do Code Veronica next, because that's that game was more like Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. So they should remake that to be more like 4. Uh, and it was on the Dreamcast, ex only exclusive to the Dreamcast. And you know what happened to the Dreamcast? So, like, yeah, bada boom, you got a game right there. Uh -huh. As for a game that doesn't need a remake, I don't know, like... Or, like, The Last of Us is probably, like, a perfect example of a game that doesn't need a remake. I'll say... I don't know, I think maybe... Huh, I, I didn't think of this one, as you can tell. Uh, you know what, I, I... Skyrim, a game like Skyrim doesn't need a remake. Obviously, it gets ported a lot. Like, a full-on remake. Like, you don't need a remake of a game like Mind that. Back. You know. So, yeah, Mind I think back. this part uh, the, of the episode has uh, gone for quite a bit. So, uh, any final thoughts, Kermit? What was that? Minecraft doesn't need a... Either. Are, are you, you... You're getting quiet. What are you doing? I'm not even Minecraft does not need a remake. It does not. Yeah, no, it doesn't. All right, moving on. Uh, this dropped earlier today. Um, we talked. I meant I should probably should have done this right after the Injustice uh, animated movie, just because you know you got another DC animated thing. But this is a show. This is a show. Um, and uh, we're getting a new Batman animated series uh, now. I think we've all watched the Batman a animated series at least once, at least like one episode or something. Like that show was big. I, I used to really, really like the Batman animated series, um, and there were some like I remember there were some villains in there that like I saw in there, and I don't think I ever saw it ever again. Like there's this one villain I don't even remember his name, but it was like. Basically, Batman, but he was like brownish orangish, like, and he was like sort of a doppelganger. But, 
Yeah, well, we're getting a new Batman animated series, and it's going to be called Batman Caped Crusader. And it's going to be on HBO Max, and it's going to be... Uh, it's going to have... Uh, Matt Reeves, who's directing the uh, the Batman movie uh, with Robert Pattinson, so he's going to be involved with this show, and uh, it's also going to have J.J. Abrams. And a lot of people have mixed opinions on J.J. Abrams, but I feel like um, I, I I feel like he will do he would do a good job with uh, like the, the, like he was confirmed. This is sort of old news, so which is why we're not talking about it. But he was it confirmed to be. Uh, no, like, be working on a new Superman movie, and then that was gonna have a black Superman. Um, so he's he's getting involved with some DC stuff, which is interesting. Um, a lot of people don't like him because of uh, his work on Star Trek and Star Wars, and uh, the way Lost ended, right? J.J. Abrams did Lost, I think. I'll, I'll confirm. I'll confirm. If not, that that's gonna sound really stupid. But um, he he was a creator of Lost. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, good. So wait, so I don't think he was a he was um. Uh, I don't know. He's a director, so I mean, probably at some point. Yeah. Um, so but like the Force Awakens, for example, was I thought was a really good film, and he kind of got fucked uh, with the Rise of Skywalker. There wasn't a whole lot. It was. I don't want to get into that actually. Um, and I'm, I'm not a, a big fan of Star Trek, so I'm, I'm not too familiar with what he has done to Star Trek. But like, I, I'm sure like he's, he's already like doing a Superman movie, and he's looking for a black Superman, which is different enough. So he's not trying to do. He's not trying to make a a Superman movie that's like all the other ones. Like, the fact that they're looking for a black Superman to do Calvin Ellis, I think his name is, is interesting enough. To now do a Batman animated series on HBO Max with Matt Reeves, the director of the new live-action uh, Batman movie, that's interesting. I think that's really interesting. Um, and, uh, I don't know if, like, I think it's gonna be, like, I don't know. I think I might have heard that this has to, something to do with Batman Beyond or something. Uh, I feel like I would have it would say like this is Batman Beyond because like Batman Beyond's different. Like that's Terry McGinnis, you know. So, uh, anyways, Kermit the Frog. Uh, yes, sir. What are your thoughts on uh, this new Batman animated series? You know, anything about it? Just Batman the Cape Crusader. You know. Uh, um, the uh, coming to HBO Max, J.J. Uh, Abrams, Matt Reeves, what, whatever, anything about it. Uh, what do you think? I think it's cool. You know, I like the original Batman, um, the animated series. I thought that was very epic, and um, hopefully, they they hopefully it's a, it's a good show. Hopefully, it, you know, continues the uh, the the legacy of the Batman animated series. You know, mm -hmm. um, I, I, like I said, I'm a big fan of Batman, and I, I it should the show should turn out okay, you know, and I'm I'm excited for it for sure. Yeah, I, I wanted to get your thoughts on uh, on J.J. Abrams being a part of this and Matt Reeves being a part of this. Uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on that? Um, I'm I'm indifferent to it. Um. I think he did an okay job with Star Wars, well, and the other stuff that, he, like, some of the stuff wasn't really, you know, his control, within his control, you know, he kind of, like you said, he got fucked by Rise of Skywalker, needing to be, like, produced and shit, so, um, I, don't, I think it will be okay with J.J. Abrams, you know, he's done a lot of other stuff, and people who are just focusing on like his Star Wars stuff and saying it's bad need to like look at some of his other stuff you know mm -hmm. I think the only thing good. is Star Trek I'm not sure uh, I'm not any anyone who uh, watches Star Trek and is into that uh, let me know down below how bad did he fuck up Star Trek because I actually don't know so 
Yeah, uh, anything else? I kind of cut you off there. Also, what are your thoughts on Matt Reeves uh, directing? Or, I don't know if he's directing, but, like, being a part of it. Um, I don't really know as much about... Uh, uh, let me look him up real well, quick. No, Maybe the, the, I think the main thing you need to know is that he's directing the the Batman movie with, with Battinson, so... He is doing that. He also did Cloverfield, which is an interesting movie, and some of the Planet of the Apes stuff. Oh, shit. Okay, I actually didn't know that. So what are your thoughts? I think he'll do a good job. You know, he seems to be uh, some guy who kind of, like, goes for a l things that are a little bit different, you know? So hopefully the show isn't, like, super outlandish, but hopefully it's, you know, overall pretty solid, you know? Yeah. All right, any final thoughts? Or were, the, were those your final thoughts? Oh, those kind of were my final thoughts. All right. So we got one more topic. Permit. And it is, this is about a week old, but I think this is a good enough topic that we can talk about. As Nintendo have had some uh, rumors that came out, a, a lot of stuff came out last week about E3 and what they're going to have there. Um, you know, and one of the big things, one of the big things I think is worth talking about. And it sucks, this was, this came out right when I was done with a top 10 list of the top 10 rumored video games that would be awesome. This would have been on the list, just because, well, goddamn. A th new 3D Donkey Kong game. Uh, now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, that is there. Uh, but, name me a 3D Donkey Kong game. I can name you, like, 50. Mm hmm? Alright, name me two. Wait. Uh, never mind. Alright. I can name you one. Donkey Ooh, Kong baller. Four. Uh, you see, the thing is, that's the only one. Uh, that's what I was trying to get at there. There's only, they, they, there's only been one 3D Donkey Kong game. Uh, and the crazy thing is, this is going to be done by the, uh, according to the rumor, it's going to be done by, by the Odyssey rep, the uh, devs, Right? So, Odyssey, yesy. <laughs> Odyssey, yesy, for sure. Um, so, like that's that's good. The Odyssey. I, don't know, I feel like I don't want to say people turned on Odyssey, but it, it sort of felt like you know Odyssey was praised like crazy when it came out. Tens out of tens everywhere. People saying it's like the best Mario game. As the time went on, it was sort of like, yeah, Odyssey, Odyssey, yesy, yay. Okay, what's next? You know, it was sort of like, but Odyssey's a fantastic game. That Odyssey's awesome. Um, yes, sir. So the Odyssey devs, they can pull off a Donkey Kong game. That's good. Who who are the Odyssey? I'm gonna go look that up. Actually, excuse me, that was gross. But uh, who who developed Odyssey? Odyssey. Yes, he. Okay, so I think it's just different parts of Nintendo that did it. Um, so I, I, I guess we could, we should really just be referring to them as the Odyssey devs. But, like, I think Donkey Kong sixty four was really good. Obviously, it has some issues with level with game design. Uh, many game design experts have actually pointed that out, so that's how I know. But uh, I wouldn't have figured that out because it's pretty specific. But no, it's got a lot of issues with game design, but I think it's a great game. I think Donkey Kong 64 is underrated. Not too many people, you know, people look over that, like, but that's, it's a 3D Donkey Kong country pretty much. And, excuse me. And it's a really good game, and I'm, I think we're long overdue for a new Donkey Kong 3D game. And I like that's something that I didn't realize we were long overdue for. Like I didn't realize that we only have one 3D Donkey Kong game, but we do. Um, 
little side note. Uh, if we're getting another 3D Donkey Kong game, why not make another, uh, or not even another, just make a 3D Kirby game? Like, did you even, did, have you realized that there hasn't been a traditionally 3D Kirby game? That's interesting. Yeah, no. I will say. Um, but, uh, yeah, Kermit the Frog, what are your thoughts on the rumored 3D Donkey Kong game? Um, I'm, I'm cool to, I'm excited to see what happens. You know, hopefully they nail it. Odyssey, you know, is a very good game. So, this probably will be at least a pretty decent game, if I'm being honest. I'm sure it will be really good. And, you know, the Odyssey people know what they're doing. I'm mm -hmm. just gonna say it. They do. Odyssey, yesy. Alright. So, uh, and, uh, was that it for you? Um, honestly, yes, yeah. I think right. this is going to be good, honestly. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for this episode. Uh, yeah, it was fun. Kermit the Frog, what an interesting guest I had. Uh, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I mean, usually I ask if you want to plug anything, but I don't Do you want to plug Don't anything, watch Kermit? any Muppets movie. Wait, say that again? Kinda any like... Muppets movie. Yeah, while well, watch this movie. Um, yeah, uh, it's on Disney Plus. Uh, yes, sir. Not sponsored, by the way. All right, don't like. Anyways, and of course you can uh, subscribe to me uh, and follow me on SoundCloud. If you're on YouTube, go to my SoundCloud. DPX talks for about an hour. Uh, hit follow. You don't even have to watch me consistently. You just have to follow me. I think. And if you're on SoundCloud watching or listening from there, go to YouTube, DPX Solo, hit subscribe. Also, subscribe to, uh, you know, um, all my friends. I have them in the description of my YouTube videos. And also follow my Twitter, Twitch. Join the MeCast Discord so you can, you know, uh, vote on some topics and uh, interact with us, me, and uh, some other people. Maybe even Kermit. Maybe he'll be joining the server soon. Maybe I'll join the MeCast. Maybe. Anyways, yeah, that'll be it. Uh, I'll be back in, in in a month with another episode of DPX Talks for about an hour. See ya. That's so true.